am not a professional. Do not do what I do. Please. Alright. It's hot. Alright, so I think I got everything I need to try to do this. Mostly an impact wrench. Um, I got a fan on. That's what you're hearing in the background. Yup, that's the one. Ugh. So now I gotta get the brake caliper up and out of the way. I gotta get the speed sensor out. Um, everything I've watched about this is it's a bloody freaking nightmare to get done. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Always use your tools in ways they were never designed for. That way you don't have to buy more tools. And always, always, always when you're using a flathead screwdriver to pry something out, Take it to the very, very razor edge so that it pops out and either hits you or whatever you're working against, leaving a big old scratch or gouge on it. It's excellent when you're up against a painted surface. When I don't use power. Nope. All right, get ready to yell at your screen. perfectly reusable so you make sure you keep this right there yeah right always have a new one can you see anything is that better I've been yelling at me the whole time I can't see anything Just staring at my beautiful leg there If you don't know, this is a dead blow hammer. It makes all the difference when you're trying to get as much impact force on something as possible. It's got sand in the head, so when you hit it, it just stops. It's hard. All the inertia is just delivered. You get all the inertia. I've just got a little Velcro strap right there. So, but that's fine. There's, there's no pressure on the lines. So, um, yeah, you can see that's that's good enough. So now we ought to be able to pull this bad mamma jamma out of here. It's got a couple of screw holes here. Uh, I gotta figure out exactly what size that is. But you ought to be able to alternate it, 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 and it pops right out of there. So let me find that thingy. Well, let me try it first. <laughs> it These cobalt tools right here, I don't even think they make them anymore. But they got these little like ratchet things on the inside. They're horrible! Absolutely horrible. I didn't even realize I grabbed that one when I came over here. Yeah. Yeah. speed monitor all right so yeah the, the fun part's going to be trying to get uh, i'll see if i can get you back there this is a concoction 
so you, you may not be able to see it, but let's see if I can get you up there high enough. Oh yeah, that's great. All right, I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bolt here, there's a bolt up, a bolt there, there's a bolt there, there's a bolt there, and there's a bolt up there. You can probably see those two. So yeah, that's what I gotta get out. And everything I've seen of other people trying to do this, uh, you can see that rust in there. That's the problem. That's the problem. Because it basically just adheres itself, the hub and the, the joint coming from the drive shaft. They just, like, I mean, they become one. And uh, it's going to be exciting to try to get that off there. Yeah, booger that up pretty good. It's all right. It's all right. It's just a drive component. You know, what's the worst that could happen? Okay. No. No, you're under the car with me. Hi. All right. So I got to get these four bolts out. Everything I've read says it's a real pain in the butt. But what I'm looking at right now does not look like it's that much of a pain in the butt. It looks like it's pretty accessible. So I got a deep well impact socket on here. What size? Uh, 14. 14 millimeters. Okay, yeah, so I can access all four bolts from underneath without having any trouble, no, no crazy adapters or anything. I was expecting I have to get like a, a wobbly adapter or some craziness, so. And now it should just go pop right off, yeah? No, no, it's not going to do that for me. <sighs> I think I need to get my parking brake out of the way. There it is. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna have to figure all that crap out. Um, yep, that should fall right out. Yep, there you go. been at it for a while I think I'm giving up on hand tools it's time to break out the big gunch all right say hello to big gun anybody ever does this when they do their videos all right okay so try to get you in here all right so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to separate this plate from that if you look over here though you can see that there's a gap now yeah so I think I'm gonna shoot me some PB blaster up in that mug. Oh, I was hammering straight down onto the uh... All right, I'll let that soap, and then I'll come back at it in a bit. It looks like I'll need to scooch this log back. So what do y'all do when you're waiting for your PB blaster to set in? I usually just sit down, enjoy a cold snack, and watch some YouTube videos. There's one about a guy right now that's milling his own wood. It's pretty cool. Hmm. 
red line is pretty broad, so I hope if we still get a good solid cave from the center. Okay. It's moving. It's moving pretty good. Yeah, oh baby, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she's moving good now. All right, I think I'm just gonna have to very gingerly go around the outside edge of this. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't like where I'm gonna have to chisel, but it's about the only place I'm gonna get good purchase now. All right, let's see. Let's make sure you're talking about here. Ah. All right. So you can see the gap I've got now. Look at that. That's a nice gap. There's a gap all the way around. It's a little bit smaller on this side, but I think what I'm going to end up having to do is I'm, I'm going to use this as an example. I'm not using this bit, but still, I think I'm going to have to like get in between that kind of stuff and like work my way in. Okay, I think we're loose. Yay! Awesome! Yeah, look at that. Look at all that rust in there. That's crazy, man. I mean, you can see where the uh, PP Blaster went to work, but... Dude, that's nuts. I don't know how I would have done this without an air hammer. I mean, seriously, like... Turn that light off. I don't need that light on. Whoo, that's bright. Yeah, I mean, there's like, I don't see how the heck I would have done that. I guess just really slow going, but um, I'm glad I have an air chisel or air hammer, so that makes a lot of difference. All right, now I got to separate the, the plate from the wheel hub. Ideas. I think I have one. Be right back. Oh, it's moving. I don't know if you saw that little bit of a twist, but it definitely moved. in the back I figured they would be a good guide also I've already attached the um, handbrake emergency brake line uh, back to this dust cover this is sitting centered right, let's see if we can get these lined up just right so we'll have to push them all back out A bit of pain. Oh, there you go. Alright. Stay. I'm gonna paint this up. A little thin coat all the way around. I don't need much. And I don't want too much. Okay, so everything torqued down to 47.9 foot pounds. A little bit more. There we go. 
That's how it should look. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the dimple, but it's right there. So I'll move it around a little bit so maybe you can spot it. But yeah, so that's got to line up with ugh, that guy. <clears throat> Yep, so dimple to the, uh, the black painted bolt here. Hey. Let me engage the parking brake. get this torque down to spec so I double checked the torque specs and it said a hundred and forty point one is what I could find online okay all right so that's supposed to be 140 I'm gonna take it for a test drive that I didn't screw anything up. My wheel speed sensor back in. Okay. I'll torque that down to spec. Back. Line it up right. There we are. There she goes. Sounds pretty smooth to me. Yep. Hello, Brad Knight's car. Your Brad Knight's don't bother me because I have all this on me. You can't see anyways. It doesn't matter. How do people do this? Drive with a freaking light in their face. Jeez. Anyways. Oh, it sounds nice and smooth. Oh yeah, it's fixed. Thank God it was just the right side. <laughs> I was so worried it was gonna be both sides. All right, well, job well done, I guess. Everything feels like it's working the way it's supposed to. Handbrake works fine, like normal brakes work fine. Everything was snug down the way it's supposed to be, so. Let's see if I can get up here and make a U-turn without causing too much trouble. Hey, I'll go down to the gas station and turn around. I don't want to get in trouble. And with my luck, I probably would. Oh, I got a little neighborhood right here. There we go. I can turn around right here. Perfect. Perfect. Got no cars behind me. No cars in front of me. Still kind of illegal, but we're gonna do it anyways. Hey! All right. Good times, good times, good times, good times. All right, well, I'm heading home. I'm gonna call it a night. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode, I guess you can call it, of Badger's Garage. Working on the 2014 Subaru Crosstrek, putting in a rear hub wheel bearing.
thing that would have been a lot easier if it was just a wheel bearing. But, you know, Subaru. God, that was a pain in the ass! Absolute pain in the ass. I hope I don't have to do it anytime soon. I bought a second one just in case I had to do the left side as well, so. I'm, uh, I'm prepared. 